Hey, hey, Marcus here, Pipers and Guns. Today it's review time, and it's not a tobacco but a pipe. Uh, that was a long time ago. This is my first new pipe in quite some time. I got it uh, this Wednesday, just in time for uh, my trip to London, and I just came back home today, uh, like one and a half hour ago. Early morning, five o'clock. Uh, woke up at 5, hustled our way out to Gatwick Airport, but all went fine, no delays, no issues, and uh, it's time for a re review. So it's a Dagner pipe that we're gonna review today, it comes in this nice little denim pouch, really nice little pouch, and uh, it's a real, real pitted pipe. I already had it for, you know, a couple of days, so I smoked it some, so I can give a better review. I will smoke it now as well. But it, it's the Dagner Civil War Ants. It's a really nice little pipe. And yeah, as you can see, it's quite tiny. It comes in different kind of, um, finishes like a rusticated sound blasted I don't know if it can focus but I will uh, put a picture in here as well it has a brown stem this one is the smooth I don't remember the the finish of it what it was called um, but it's the brown to dark brown with a with a brown swirl swirly kind of stem I actually put one of the smaller titties on this one <laughs> I love my titties and it fits perfectly you might want to cut it down slightly but it's perfect and it's tiny uh, it was awesome having this in London walking around uh, pushing uh, the, the stroller or the what do you call it the buggy with a baby or the three-year-old because it uh, it didn't give me any issues you know while smoking it while clenching it doing other things don't get too hot it's quite thin walled and uh, not thin I wouldn't say thin but it's it's as you can see it's uh, convex you know the, the ants usually are a bit convex it's an overall length of 101 millimeters so just shy over four inches uh, the bowl height measure it like that it's about 38 38 millimeters so one and a half inch uh, the bowl outer dm uh, od here is 35 millimeters so that's like one and three eight eighths of an inch and uh, the inside diameter OD of the bowl is 18 millimeters so that's like 11 16 of an inch and that's about it uh, of the dimensions of it but I will pack a bowl and uh, come back in a minute So I got this one going now. I forget, forgot to mention the depth of the bowl, so it will be down here in the corner. Smoking some plum pudding, Seattle Pipe Company, Pipe Club, I mean. Trying to um, light it up some more. quite windy conditions here today ah come on there we go cloudy 
Hmm. So anyway, yeah, it's it's a really nice smoker. The finish and quality of it, superb. Nice stamp on the bottom as usual on Dagner's. And the pipe in denim or jeans or whatever you want to call it. Really nice touch to it. And when I say it's petite, it's really petite. It's small. I was almost a bit shocked when I received it. It was like, oh, it's really small. I guess you have to um, select the blend a bit more carefully due to the really short stem of it all or short. So you can get tongue bite. But as for me smoking Seattle Pipe Club Plum Pudding in this one, it's not an issue. And I love to have the plum pudding in a small bowl as well. Don't know why, but it tastes better somehow. So anyways, while I were in London, well, I already planned to uh, visit some shops there, but I did only managed to get one in because I I was not alone I had my wife with me and my daughter and you have um, Daniel Chop you have James Fox and Davido they're on the same street on St. James Street and the, the neighborhood there where St. James Street is it's a posh neighborhood I don't know if it's like the financial district or whatnot but everything is fancy fancy and when we got there we uh, had to walk around a bit we were going to eat lunch and there were there was no you know cheap alternative only fancy restaurants so it was like we were all um, you know hangry <laughs> hungry angry we get all hangry over here when we don't get our food so i just went into the james fox shop i bought a pipe so a little review of that one will come up soon as well it's just a straight straight pipe one of those like basket pipes but it's a briar and um, nice looking pipe Nothing special, cheap one. I think it was like 33 quid uh, pounds for it. I bought some uh, humidifier, you know, the bags. Mm. Small titty for this one or two, actually. You know, it's always comes, comes in a pair. Got some really long um, matches. That was about it. Then we had to, you know, get out of there pretty much. So next time I'll visit the Dunhill shop and the Davidoff as well. And I saw the tins there that they had at the James Fox shop. The Dunhill tins they still had. Due to the regulations with the big stickers on it. The 50 gram tin, the new tins they got. The 50 gram tins was actually the, like the old 100 gram tins, so the, the the higher ones, just so they could fit the stickers with those, you know, cancer lungs on it and all that, you know, yucky pictures. <laughs> kind of weird. They would fit on top. That's what they told me, anyways. And it was only on the Dunhill tins and, and not the other ones. I just got three, you know, Durbar tins before I left, so it was like, I don't need to buy any more tobacco. I know there we will spend money on other stuff as well, so pretty much the same price as buying from Danish pipe shop anyway. So why why spend money in there? I just brought this one. This is pretty much like my traveler tin.
Actually, I have my, my small bags with some tobacco in it. And if need be, I have a bag in my um, in my like traveler kit as well, like a leather you know pipe holder for two pipes, and it has a, like a tobacco place in it as well. So now you've seen the Civil War ends. Small but nice pipe. I hope you enjoy this review and uh, check me out on, on Instagram, Pale Daddy. Uh, you can find me there. And uh, have a nice one. Take care. Don't do anything stupid. Bye bye.